Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of family and friends to join together Brian Francis V. Han and Hannah Elizabeth Stowers. Anna, you are my best friend, my partner, and the love of my life. Our time together has given me the most cherished, beautiful, and important memories of my life. Reflecting to write and read you my vows has reminded me just how far we have come and how much we have achieved. My commitment to you is my commitment to us, to our future, and our family. I promise to always be faithful, open, and at your side to face our challenges and to celebrate our successes. I will always prove to you that we can accomplish any task or goal by our strength and unity. Saying I do today is my promise of telling you that I will. I will always love and remember the joy and love you have given me. You have shown me so many wonderful aspects of life that I would have never come to know, brought so many amazing people into my life, and have taught me the virtues of love through patience, compassion, guidance, and wisdom. On October 5th, 2013, I never thought that I would meet my soulmate and lifelong beer pong partner. It's always been you over the years, and I am very grateful you kept persisting for me to open up. I know it was hard to see, and I liked you because I basically ignored you when you finally asked me on a date. I brought another couple with us, and I know it was hard to tell, but I liked you from the beginning. Anna, I vow to nurture your dreams and goals and your passions. I vow to encourage you when you face uncertainty, to give you support when the path is steep, and to share the view of the summit of our journeys. I vow to always be there to listen, feel your joy and sorrow, and protect you from all harm. I vow to always be your lover, handyman, soulmate, and protector. Above all else, I vow to be the best husband to you and our family. I vow to live each day as the husband you deserve. I cannot ex express my feelings and love for you in words, but I promise to show you each day. You make me strong, determined, whole, and the happiest man on earth. I promise I will always love you with all my heart, and I will always love and cherish you as the beautiful woman you are. These are my vows to you, Hannah. But baby, when it comes to my love for you, I hope you can feel it every day. I promise to never go to bed angry and communicate with you all my feelings at all times. I promise to love you unconditionally, eternally. I promise to be a good wife and a mother to our future children. I promise to support you and grow together. As husband and wife, we are the best team in anything that we do from something as simple as games or cooking and any life hurdles. I know that we can get through anything that we put our minds to in our time and love. I can't wait to see all we accomplish, I am so excited to start life together as husband and wife. I know that we will build a beautiful life together, and I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle. Brian, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. And Hannah, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him as long as you shall live? I will. 
I, Brian, take you, Hannah, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. Pledge you my faith. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Mr. and Mrs. Brian Behan. My way around it. Cause I know just like the weather, things are gonna change. And I'm tired of saying sorry in so many ways. I know I'll find my way around it. But I keep on waiting. I just keep on waiting for nothing. I just keep on waiting. I just keep on waiting. We all love you so much, Hannah, and I know you know that. And Brian, we're so happy you stuck around after that first night that you met the entire family, surrounded by that <laughs> kabuki table. And of course, Dad and Bill were making a scene. We all thought that we all thought that Brian was going to call a cab and never come back. And, and here we are all together today. <laughs> Em and I have been inseparable pretty much our entire lives. Um, we had a typical childhood and adolescence, but after high school, um, we didn't split and go our different ways. We actually attended college together for our first years, and we decided not to get random new roommates, so we room together, so we're still together. We actually still live together, so it's been 27 years where I've uh, almost never gone a day without seeing Brian, or at least talking to him, and it's, uh, it's been fantastic. All of my struggles in life, I never had to endure for myself because you're always right there next to me, making sure I can do everything. Brian, you and Hannah, you got married today in the eyes of God. And if you keep him in your lives and you keep it focused, you will make it. And remember, you know, there is no hurry in love. Keep that always in the back of your mind. And as 1 Corinthians says, Love is patience, and you gotta have that patience. And also, make sure that as you go forward, you listen to one another. I'm not a very good listener. I'll tell you what you need to know before you say it. <laughs> and probably a little bit more. Cause I could wake up with a broken heart. I could wait until it falls apart. Don't matter.